Hello, everyone. My name is David, and I'll be your host for this week's installment of Auction My Forest Stand. I know what all of you are thinking. Where's Tom? Where's Tom? We don't like David. Where's Tom? Well, Tom's sick, so get over it. Moving on. This week's episode is featuring the much sought after land, Birch Lake State Forest. It is a whopping 640 acres in area, located in Stearns County, and was founded in the year 1959 by local citizens and the state legislator. Currently, the ownership lies with public lands. However, we could change that in just a few moments. I understand that most of our regular viewers are stark investors with stand goals including high wildlife biodiversity and stand complexity, so I guess I have to stick to that. To give a little background of the current state of the stand, I'll start by talking about the general forest types. The stand consists of mainly hardwoods, which is shown here in the bright green, and spots of conifers shown in the teal hue. Within the category of hardwoods, oaks are shown in the dark brown hues, and northern hardwoods are shown in the red hues. In the second visual, the white spruce tree is shown in the light blue hue, and the white pine is shown in the darker green hue. The dominant trees in this stand are bur oak, red oak, and northern pin oak. To see a little further into the structure of this stand, we can see in this next visual the different size classes. In the lightest hue of beige, in the bottom right is 0 to 1 inches diameter breast height. Then, in the next lightest hue to the left is the 1 to 3 inches dbh. Towards the middle left and the middle right are two plots of 5 to 9 inches dbh, and the surrounding darkest hue is all 9 to 15 inch dbh. Moving on to age classes, we can use the following visual to see how many this stand yields. In the bottom right corner, the brightest hue of green is shown as 1 to 9 years old. The slightly darker hues shown in the bottom right are in age class 10 to 19 years. The slightly darker hue surrounding most of the map is age class 40 to 49, and the darkest green hue is age class 75 to 99 years old. Along with these varieties of trees, ironwood is a common understory plant species. Like I said before, I will be operating with your goals in mind, which include high biodiversity of wildlife species and sand complexity. The objectives I will be suggesting to accomplish these goals are as follows. Because the sand is uneven aged and has a unimodal diameter distribution in the 9 to 15 inch diameter class, we will strive to achieve a reverse J diameter distribution with a Q factor of 1.1 to achieve the highest range of age classes. This will also ensure the highest range of habitat types, which will in turn allow for wildlife species in the area such as red squirrels, gray foxes, and white-tailed deer to continue coexisting. Because this land has been managed for timber since 1959, I will be assuming that there are at least some stags and coarse woody debris every acre. Because there are so many old-grown oak trees in the area, I suggest using single tree selection in order to remove any stags and coarse woody debris to make way for more growing space. Also, Thinning trees that reach a dbh of over 12 inches would be a good idea to ensure that the stand does not enter the stem mortality stage of secession. However, I will leave shelter woods with reserves to ensure proper regeneration, probably around 2 per acre. It will allow for the stand to remain a low Q value. Because I aim to increase the stand complexity, I will also suggest controlled burns of the understory every 10 years to foster five distinct age classes. In doing so, it will allow for fire-resistant trees to further disperse their seeds and formed well-spaced age classes. I know, I'm a, I know, I'm almost done. The most desired future conditions will include five distinct age classes to foster the most diverse habitat and structural complexity and a Q factor of 1.1 to ensure that there is a more equal distribution of age and diameter. We also hope to keep the relative density index in the C stage. This will ensure that the stand is not in density dependent competition and growing at full potential at all times. 
Well, that's all from me, folks. This has been a regular installment of, let me hear you say it, Auction My Forest Stand. Now, let's start the bidding.